Hey guys, welcome to Star Wars Timeline The Bookshelf Tour. In part 2, I'm focusing on my Star Wars Legends hardcover collections, plus a couple of bonuses. Over there in the background, you could see the Star Wars art, Ralph McQuarrie, that comes in two volumes, which is his biography, plus all of his illustrations he has done for Star Wars fantastic work. Over there on the right-hand side, you could see the Star Wars Legends collection of short stories from the Insider magazine, which is pretty nice to see those Legend stories being reprinted today. This is pretty fun collection with an Imperial Handbook, the Book of Sith, which came out in one box set volume, which was a pretty awesome buy. Then we have the Jedi Path, followed by the Bounty Hunter Code. Now, my understanding is there's a couple of more books that came up in that series. I will get those later on. I usually leave these type of books later, but first I enjoy reading my Star Wars novels. This was a pretty cool uh, a collection of two volumes that I recently picked up. I believe they're called the uh, Hand of Darth Vader or the Glove of uh, Darth Vader short story, uh, uh, children books. This is a pretty cool 40th anniversary uh, Star Wars novel from the original New Hope. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is published actually in Great Britain and I got an import of it. It was traveling like for a month. So it always a pretty nice purchase. And this is the volume two of the uh, Glove of Darth Vader children book collections. I wasn't able to get the soft covers yet. I'll get to them. Now, this is what I was talking about. This is the modern day release of Star Wars Legends, the fiction collection, which features the first set of those short stories. And we already have volume two on the way, which I'm pretty excited to get. And once again, I'm so happy that we're getting Star Wars Legends books and stories uh, being printed. Now, this is the volume one of the Star Wars art, Ralph McQuarrie. Guys, I thought I knew who this man is prior to reading this book. You know, I, I knew my history of Star Wars and the making of it. Oh man, this volume is so packed of, with details and information on and how they were working their very first artworks. They tried to visualize like the Death Star and how the even the logo of the movie is gonna look like the planets. It's so packed with interesting details and the biography not only of the author. Uh, um, um, the, the artist Ralph McQuarrie, but also how he collaborated with George Lucas and the rest of the creative group and really illustrates and paints the picture how it was um, a collaborative uh, process creating this movie. And I highly recommend it to all of the Star Wars fans to kind of like, if you want a deeper understanding of the films, jump into it and read it as I have. I loved it. Now, this is my hardcover collection of the Star Wars Marvel series of the original Star Wars bo books printed back in the day. And I was so happy to purchase all of the hard volumes because this is how I enjoy collecting my stories. Now, this is the Star Wars. For some of you guys who may know, this is actually a comic book adaptation of George Lucas's earlier script of the original A New Hope film. Events take place quite differently to there. And it very interesting uh, plot of what if the story that could have been if George Lucas didn't rework it. Of course, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, which is a recent a hardcover volume that came out, and I was so happy to get it. It is just one of my favorite Star Wars uh, comic books of all time. It's so epic. Of course, these are the William Shakespeare uh, adaptations of the all of the Star Wars films starting from the prequel trilogy here these are hilarious guys for those of you who are seeing them for the first time this author by uh lan dosher uh, uh if i'm pronouncing it correctly he's basically a scholar of shakespeare here's the original trilogy and he was able to basically take the plot of each star wars film and retell it in this Shakespearean kind of like language, which uh, pokes uh, fun of the films at the same time as dramatizing the events. The, these books don't take themselves very seriously, but this is just so swell and so cool to read. Guys, if you want to have a fun time and just revisit the original Star Wars films in a way that you have never had before, I guarantee you, I read one of them, I read A New Hope. This is pretty awesome and hilarious stuff. And once again, you can only read these and marvel at how close these resemble the actual you know shakespeare style that he developed you know with his particular language and you know these particular rhymes and all of that stuff beautiful beautiful books of course this is the sequel trilogy i decided to collect them as well because you know i'm a completionist 
And this book was actually recommended by one of our friends on the Facebook group. He said, hey, Ben, if you're checking out the Star Wars droids and Ewoks show, you better check out the, the comics as well. Now, let's take a dive and look at, at this The Star Wars book. The artwork here is absolutely magnificent. And I remember when the regular issues of this uh, were coming out first in a comic book shop, and I peeked inside and I looked at, I looked at the artwork and I said, okay, so if the story is not fully cooked or fully developed there, I may enjoy it basically for just what if, you know, the story that George was trying to sell, how he was working through the details. And you see the Luke Skywalker, who is the seasoned warrior, who is very reminiscent of earlier, uh, of later uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi ideas. And you see it all here come together in a very, very different way. Plus the amazing, amazing artwork you know, in the background details. And when, when it comes to the action, I mean, this graphic novel, you know, packs a wall. This is a really, really detailed in art and action sequences. And you see the earlier concepts of the Sith Lords here. Check this out, guys. I just on the standpoint of fantastic art, if you enjoy your comic books, I highly, highly recommend it. And it's almost like a museum piece, something that it's cool to show off to your friends or visitors who are like, hey, you want to check out the earliest, earliest ideas for Star Wars? This is the book to have and all the uh, uh, supplementary material that comes with it. Very, very cool stuff. I really enjoyed this purchase. Now, these I found out very recently about, which are basically a collection of newspaper strips of the earliest days of Star Wars. And at first, I didn't think I was going to get it. But when I glanced at the artwork, you know, I just Googled it real quick. And I said, hold on a second. What are these? The artwork is absolutely fantastic. I mean, just look at the ink work here. I mean, each panel is brimming with the detail and perspective and like very interesting earlier style you know of the comic books which is i believe what it's the 60s is a, and 70s is the silver age of the comic strips and i got all three volumes here in a hardcover form and i was so happy that i actually found out about them and i didn't miss out on this purchase because who knows you know these might be missing uh later on now guys in my first video i showed you my entire paperback collection of the star wars legends uh books but these wonderful reprints that are coming out right now which are keeping you know the star wars legends alive and reintroducing them to the new generation of fans at first i was oh man these covers are so amazing should i get them or should i not i was on the fence for a brief 25 seconds and then when i started seeing the amazing artwork and just overall cover design you know as a graphic designer myself i was blown away and i told myself ben you know what you're getting these there is just no way around it you got to have these in your collection i really hope that in time they reprint all of them obviously they're doing the most popular ones like you see in the entire timothy zahn's original throne trilogy you see here the rogue squadron fantastic series which i'm reading right now and of course uh, the darth bane trilogy which is the uh the second volume in that trilogy these are just beautiful beautiful uh, reissues of the star wars legends and i highly recommend them to everyone uh now here these are the books which i've read way way before these are some of the earlier you know bantam era and del rey era star wars legends titles which um i didn't get the chance to get hardcover earlier uh, but I decided collecting them now because, you know, I want to have the whole thing in soft cover and hardcover. These are the Star Wars Legacy hardcover books you might have seen in my previous videos before. I adore these books. You know, Star Wars Legacy is probably the definitive Star Wars story featuring the descendant of Luke Skywalker like hundreds of years in the future. This is, of course, a comic book adaptation of Timothy Zahn's Thrawn trilogy, the original one done in hardcover. This is the Star Wars Crimson Empire saga, which includes Crimson Empire 1 and 2, and I think the conclusion to that trilogy. Of course, we have the Dark Empire trilogy. These are all hardcover comics, and now we're back to the Timothy Zahn uh, Visions of the Future book, and down below you will see its sequel, it's a duology. Of course, here is the new uh, Rebellion. At first, I skipped on those back in the 90s when I started collecting paperbacks, these were not available in hardcover, and I thought I missed them forever. But thankfully to eBay, I'm slowly beginning to pick these up, The Planet of, of Twilight. And the only way that I was going to buy these books, if they're in completely immaculate 
mint condition. Like, I got to feel like I'm the first owner, you know, who picked up these books. Crystal Star, I know this book is not loved by a lot, a lot of legend readers. I love this book. It's some of the earliest stuff I've read. And this, we're coming to my most prized possession. This is the original hardcover uh, uh, Thrawn trilogy, which I recently acquired from, from a, a real Star Wars collector on eBay. I paid close to $250 to this stuff. And I was so happy with the, you know, the items I got in the carefully, you know, shipped box. These are immaculate, you know, conditioned books. I'll pop one open later on so you could guys look inside. This is part two of the Timothy Zahn trilogy. We start of the Spectre of the Past, which is down below, and then it ends up with Visions of the Future. I love the cover art by Drew uh, Struzan. And this is actually one of the reasons I enjoy collecting these hardcover books, because the artwork is larger and you get to take a look of it. Here's a Tatooine ghost, you know, I'm working through my collection of uh, completing the set of the hardcover books of the Legends novels. And just to take a look, guys, here, this guy was, you know, he treated these books like his own children. And, and that's exactly what I'm planning to treating them on. Look at it. The pages are not even yellow. He kept them in this very, like, well-conditioned kind of, like, storage room. Look at it. It's as if you just picked, them, picked those up yourself. Obviously, these are have been out of print for many, many years. I mean, these look completely mint. Even, like, on the side, even the sleeves themselves, which I was very adamant about, that they look very crisp and clean. So happy with this purchase. You know, these are most my most sacred possessions when it comes to Star Wars Legends books. I never imagined that would I would ever have these, and I was just so happy to spot an item. I was hunting for these for years, actually. Um, now here we come to the Children of the Jedi, one of the earliest Star Wars books that I've read, which I love to these day. And actually, something uh, another recent acquisition. A lot of the Star Wars fans were telling me, like, "Hey Ben, how come you don't have the movie adaptations?" And I said, well, you know, I'm not the biggest prequel fan. I don't know. These books are probably identical to what the movie has to offer. And fans told me, like, no, 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 you got to check these out because Attack of the Clones and especially Revenge of the Sith are amazing, amazing retellings of the stories. And they act a lot of details and play certain scenes around differently. This is Truce of Bakura. Guys, this is the very first Star Wars book I ever read. Late 90s, I was finishing high school and beginning college. And this is the journey that started because I really wanted to find out what happens with Star Wars after Episode 6. And of course, the book picks up a day after. Courtship of Princess Leia, which I believe I read same year, if not the same month. You know, it's also I acquired it pretty quickly after and I started my journey of reading Star Wars books. And guys, when I picked up my Revenge of the Sith book, it came with a little surprise. You know, when I went to eBay, the gentleman was selling it for 50 bucks. And I said, hmm, well, okay, he has pictures and it looks mint condition. Let me go ahead and pick it up. And after I bought it, the person actually messaged me and he said, I hope you're really happy to find this surprise. It is actually signed by Matthew Stover, one of my favorite Star Wars authors. And I was like, okay, I may not be the biggest fan of the movies, but I hope these will actually give a different light to the Star Wars prequels. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, uh, please support my channel, hit that bell button, subscribe, and I will follow up with my next video where I will show you my hardcover collection of all the Star Wars canon books that I have. And I will see you later, guys. Thanks for watching.